Well, we've got an incredible team, both in front of and behind the camera, making the world feel as vivid as possible, bringing a sense of magical realism. The house has been requisitioned as a hospital in the war, and when Mary arrives there, it's still full of sort of relics of, uh, of this, this war that's just happened. I got quite fired up just looking at design concepts for this. This was once beautiful in the past. I didn't expect the images of the garden that I've seen to be quite so magical. The original Mittelswaite was a thriving house that was operating at its best, and now we come to it and Mittelswaite is as broken as Mary is. It's not just a ghastly, cobwebby place, it's become that, but you can see that this, there was once a lot of joy. The ceiling heights I made higher than normally would be you get that kind of Alice in Wonderland quality that she is dwarfed by it. The story is told through Mary's eyes and the film is full of the, that blurring between the real and the imaginary. She looks at the wallpaper in her room and the birds come to life. You have a, a lot of this fluidity between her world in Misselthwaite and the rich life of her imagination, which of course then becomes the garden. The gardens are so beautiful. They're going to look more beautiful in the film, but honestly, I actually, for some of them, I'd never really seen anything like it. The garden itself being a major character, it has this huge, boundless feel to it. I just can't wait to see it, basically. And Mark had very clear ideas very early on that we would basically take some of the greatest gardens in Britain and use them and stitch them together to create this incredible secret garden. The gardens are knitted together from the best gardens in Britain. It has a sense of being wild that nature has taken it back from humans. The garden is very interactive. It's a very magical world full of wonder, but actually it's rooted in Mary's perception of it. When Mary is feeling stormy at some point, that there will be the wind in the trees. The garden's not passive in any way. It's a living organism and it reacts to the characters and you see that, you see the plants move. Some of it's done with just camera tricks, but essentially it was all done through sleight of hand. This is a family film. It appeals to very young children and adults who loved that book as a child. Mark encouraged us all to be part of the storytelling process. There's nothing more important. And it was an, an amazing experience. He is a wonderful director. Ready? And action! The optimism of this story is explosive, and I think that's one of the reasons why it's so enduring. The Secret Garden is one of the central stories of childhood because it embraces this imaginative world. Well, hello there. It might remind them that nature is actually very beautiful and healing, as it is in the story. I think the audience should see that people are really nice once you get to know them, and all you need is a little bit of magic from a garden. The costume, hair and makeup, and the set look amazing and go so well together. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's been one of the most creative experiences that I've ever had. This particular telling will be the most immersive telling. It's going to be something very special.